Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. Here with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan. And getting the inside reporting from the sideline, it's David Aldridge. So the Hornets win the tip. Here's Petrovic, defended by Anderson. Cast a three. Here's Petrovic. There's a good screen over Anderson. Cranes it from 17 feet out. Not an easy shot. Petrovic makes the mid-ranger look easy. Here is Shaw. Pass to Chambers. Anderson outside. Spurs working the ball around now. Passes to Shaw. Four on the shot clock. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Victory eluded them last time in San Antonio when they took on the Spurs. An easy two points on the layup. You can tell Petrovic plays heads up basketball. He watches the floor for these assist opportunities. About one minute into the first quarter. Shaw passes to Grant. Out to the right wing. Elijah on right side. Here's Campbell. And Grant sends it back. They get it back. He takes it in, and there's the bucket from Petrovic. Quick first step, Petrovic blazing down the lane. Here is Shaw. Outside, Elijah Wan. It's blocked, and it's out of bounds. The Spurs is able to retain possession here. And now, let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. Boy, I like the fact that's intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be in their face all night long. Grant the pass to Elijah Wan. To the wing right side. Down to five on the shot clock. They get a hand on it. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. The Hornets have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. We've got 155 left here in the opening quarter. The pass to three from deep. The rebound by Grant. Not a fast start here for the Spurs. Still without a basket in the game. And finished off by Anderson. Really nice job moving the ball around that time. Picking apart that defense. There's a minute 34 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Threat. And here is Campbell. Here's Coleman. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Coleman's got his second basket of the game. Coleman's comfort level inside clearly on display, which is why his guys have confidence in him down there. San Antonio calls timeout. Substitution on the court. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Here is Shaw. Down low. Pass 
to Campbell. To the paint, Lang. Goes back up. Reed with the block. And he gets it back. And that one is good. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. And he lobs it up toward the rim. An emphatic alley -oop jam. Like clockwork, extremely efficient. Textbook alley -oop play right there. Yeah, you know this, Clark. It takes a lot of athleticism to pull it off like that. Show you right. They just wish they could find that opening every trip down. Help close this gap. And here are the Hornets now, following the bucket by the Spurs. Here's McCray. Pass to Cage. Here's McCray. Over to the left wing. They set the pick. Here's Shaw. It's deflected. And so it's Charlotte with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. What do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Hornets? Spurs trail by six. Curry looking around. Floats one. And no good that time. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. They're coming off that win against the Nets. Well, round of applause for this team for me. I mean, they were fantastic offensively. That's really hard to do on the road. The hostile fans, the distractions, never easy performing in an opposing gym. Now here's Anderson. Grant outside. Pass to Elijah Wan. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The shot fake. A smart move by Elijah. The Spurs shooting their first free throws of the night right here. Two shots. And that one misses. And when you look at Akeem, the footwork and post moves really stand out. It's what allows him to be so dominant. Chambers has checked in for San Antonio. You got this, you got this. That one misses. Hornets leading by eight. Here's Rudd. Off target there, that would have pushed the lead to double digits. There's the pass to Grant, out of bounds. And the Hornets making a change here. Charlotte shooting at 50% in a decent group. Charlotte moving it around. Curry against Dawkins. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Slick move. Coming off the pick and going straight to the hoop. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Anderson outside. Here's Chambers. No points in the game yet for him. Tries it from 19. That shot is off. Now, Charlotte takes it the other way. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. And he comes up with the deuce. Dawkins has got the lead up to 12 now for Charlotte. The story of their offense so far has been just that, getting a number of looks from point-blank range. And the Hornets making a change here. Petrovic checked in. As the playoffs near, let's take a look at the Eastern Conference standings. As you take a look at Charlotte, very strong season they've had, always at or, or near the top of the conference, and right now they're in first place in contention for that, exactly where they want to be as they close in on the postseason. 
second quarter. We're a little over a minute and a half in. Anderson outside. Curry setting the pick for Anderson. Right wing. Grant right side. Outside Curry. Five to shoot. Here's Anderson. Two minutes remaining. Another shot. Two minutes. Goes up again. Petrovic with the rebound. Hornets leading by 12. Pass to Dawkins. One forty-four left in the first half of the game. Petrovic's shot is off. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. No points yet here in the second quarter for them. Elijah on kicks to Anderson. Outside Curry. Pass to Grant. Here's Chambers. Wants to get it to Elijah on and does. Oh, and Elijah on throws it down. Love watching Elijah on go up strong with it. Not leaving any room for error with the powerful dunks. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Both teams deciding to change it up. And that one misses. For Charlotte, they've gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Petrovic. And he lays it straight in. Petrovic has got six. Hey, against tough defense, Petrovic still able to get it up and down through contact. Now about three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball. Shaw passes to Curry. Here is Shaw. And he's covered by Dawkins. Into the lane. Oh, oh how about that? Flushing it home. You don't see that often from Petrovic. Spurs trail by 14. Outside Curry. They set the screen. Unable to get that one. And the Hornets now going the other way. Here's Dawkins. Lang. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. You know, you can feel they're starting to take control of this one. You just get the sense. They've got their hands on the steering wheel nice and tight. And their play on the offensive end, it's the biggest reason they're winning. The Spurs making a switch here. Reed's checked in. Shot and game clock separated by five. Left side, Curry. To the middle. Reed kicks to McCray. Passes it to Cage. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. And the basket by Shaw. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Here's Petrovic. Shoots over. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. What a shot to beat the buzzer, and that's how you gain momentum. Yeah, that kind of a shot always energizes a team, and they'll look to build off of it going into the next quarter. And so it's Charlotte in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And we'll be right back after this. Spurs trail by 16. Here is Shaw. And there's the pass to Elijah Wan. Knocks it loose. Here's Campbell, and Campbell throws it down. The effort rewarded that time on the fast break with an easy look. That's what it's all about, staying in front of the defense so you have the basket all to yourself. And uh, San Antonio shooting just 31% in the game. Shaw passes to Chambers. Pass to Shaw. Ice ball movement by San Antonio. 
Offensive rebound. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Pass to Campbell. Got it. Good job in the low post. Campbell's got his third basket of the night. And, you know, they aren't showing any signs of easing up. Their offense looks superb right now. They can't get careless with the league. And so far, this hasn't been the case. Now into the lineup for Shepard. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Passes it to Grant. To the wing on the left. Here's Chambers. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Shaw passes to Grant. Fires the three. Shaw, no good. Hornets leading by 20. Here's Rudd. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. You know, there are occasions when contact doesn't affect the shot. That sure did. Easy call for the refs. The Hornets have started out 0 of 1 from the line, missing their only other attempt earlier. Reed, he's checked in for Elijah Watt. And so he hits both. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Here is Shaw. Now the pass to Chambers. Out to the wing. Anderson finds Grant. Shoots a fader. That one drops for him. Grant's got his first bucket of the night. Not sure I agree with the choice of going to the fadeaway there. Overly complicating what was already a good look. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Frankovich, guarded by Reed. That one goes. Count it. Good recognition. You have the mismatch, go to work. The Spurs have gone one of three since starting the second half. Shaw passes to Grant to the inside. And it's Anderson that time on the assist by Grant. Well, I love how they attack there. Get it inside, add two more. I'm oh, glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. Taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the D and made them pay. Here's Coleman, defended by Chambers. Coleman gets the bucket. Coleman's got six. Found the crease, took advantage, and got it in close. An edge to this lead. They're having their way. Read the pass to Shaw. Grant outside. To the right side. Here's Chambers. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Campbell, the pass to Rudd. Stolen by Anderson. 50 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Shaw, no good. Hornets leading by 22. Pass to Campbell. And he banks in the layup. He's got eight. And perhaps the coach lit a fire under him at halftime because they have owned this third quarter. And it's important for them to keep it going. Can't show any signs of slowing down. Here is Shaw. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Got a piece of it. Coleman, great length. Great length. At six foot ten. The wingspan of a condor really excels at reaching out and turning shots away. Passes it to three. There's a screen. Here's Coleman over Anderson. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Coleman's got four points this quarter. And they have not let up. They are still in attack mode despite their sizable lead. And I like that mindset. They never let up. You don't want to give the opponent any opportunity to get back in this one. And so it's Charlotte ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We come back right after this. We reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand.
lays it up and banks it in. Coleman's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Hornets. How do you expand the lead? Increase it. It takes good play on both ends. Yeah, it's not just about buckets. Not just about stops. You need both. Back to Henson. No one near him. Misses off the left iron. Wide, wide open and still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. Guys, I'm at a loss for words. What was that? And for the Spurs, they're shooting a pretty sorry 29% from the floor here. The 15-footer. Hanson's got his first two points. How about the amazing crossover there? Demonstrating exactly how dangerous he can be when he's got the rock in his hand. Here's Coleman, and he makes good on the layup. Coleman can be so dominant at times, and these are the types of games he's capable of having. Pass to McRae. Back to Henson. The pass to McRae. That's a floater go. No good on the shot. And the Hornets now going the other way. Pass to three. Here's Rudd. High post shot. Frankovic. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Hey, you better get a body on him and box him out. Yeah, he makes him pay. You're right. And unless you get a body on him, He's going to continue to do that. Murdoch passes to McCray. Here's Murdoch. Passes to Ruland. Spurs working the ball around now. Two minutes remaining in the game. Rudd, the pass to Coleman. Here's Rudd from 12 feet out, and the jumper is on the mark. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Hornets? The Spurs have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Pass to McRae. Now here's Henson. He's guarded close. So a whole new group on the floor now for Charlotte. Substitution on the court. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Here's Reed. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Here's Dawkins. The pass to Petrovic from past the arc. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. And right from the get-go, they stood out as the better team. Their hunger to dominate and play for each other was outstanding for the Hornets. Clark, it seemed like they did everything well tonight. Yeah, you could point to a lot of things, Kevin. You could talk game plan. You could talk execution. But they were just a more talented team. That's what the deal was. And this will make it 41 victories for them on the year. Hence in the pass to Reed. Pass to Dawkins. Out left to the wing. Banked in off the glass. That should put a stamp on this one. Great way to close out a victory. And the Spurs with possession. Henson the pass to Cage. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth. Off the mark and the drop continues. Dawkins against Curry. Pick off in midair. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. McCray passes to Curry. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second personal foul. Second you know, the way his foul. shot went so wide, Shooting pretty obvious he got fouled. Del oh, yeah, plenty of contact the there. For two. Shooting two. Oh, 
and he knocks down the first one. And both free throws good for Curry. And so here's Charlotte. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Here's Petrovic, guarded by Kerr. Over to the wing. So no problem for Charlotte as they get the win. Well, Mike, the fans here obviously going home very happy. They had a lot to cheer about, Kevin. This squad played a great game. They did. And that'll do it, folks. For our reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching tonight's game. And we'll see you next time.